السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اوسٹ لیوڈ برادرس اینڈ سسٹرس ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ وچ سورت ٹو ریڈ فار ہسبینڈ لو سو بلیوڈ برادرس اینڈ سسٹرس بفور ٹاکنگ ان ڈیٹیل پلیز سبسکرائب آور چینل اینڈ ہٹ دا بیل آئیکن ٹو کیپ واچنگ آور ویڈیوز سو ڈیئر سسٹرس فرسٹ آف آل سورت تحرین فار ہسبینڈ لو سو بائی ریسائڈنگ سورت تحرین قرآن چیپٹر سکسٹی سکس You can improve your relationship by building a strong bond with your husband and doing this Surah Tahreem with the correct method by taking a photograph of your husband and reciting this verse. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Ya ayyuhan nabiyyu lima tuharrimu ma ahallallahu lak Tabtaghi mardata azwajik وَاللَّهُ غَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ A prophet, why holdest thou to be forbidden that which Allah has made lawful to thee? Thou seekest to please any consorts, but Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful. 119 times after any sada, with complete faith in Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number 2 is Surah Yaseen, Ayat number 9, for husband. Surah Yasin Quran chapter 66 it's declared to be the heart of the Quran and it is said whosoever recites Surah Yasin in the night seeking Allah's pleasure his duas will be answered follow the ayat number 9 Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim wa ja'alna min bayni aydihim saddan wa min khalfihim saddan fa aghshaynahum fa hum la yubsirun follow the ayat number 9 at uh, the time of the hajjud of surah yasin and it will enhance the behavior of your husband towards you point number 3 surah juma benefits for husband love surah juma states the importance of maintaining good behavior and treating one another with kindness and respect it promotes mutual understanding and cooperation take some honey in the spoon chant these words after after fajr namaz bismillahir rahmanir rahim ya ayyuhalladhina amanu idha nudiya lis-salati min yawmil jum'ati fas'u ila فَاسْعَوْا إِلَى ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ وَذَرُوا الْبَيْعِ ذَلِكُمْ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ O ye who believe when the call is proclaimed to prayer on Friday, has turned earnestly to the remembrance of Allah and leave off business that is best for you if ye but knew. Now let's talk about the guidelines before you begin reciting this surah. Point number one, first have completely faith in the power of Surah and the blessings of Allah and His mercy. Point number two, before reciting this Surah, ensure that you are entirely pak, only recite if you are. Point number three, while performing Surah, have pure intentions and no negative thoughts. Point number four, recite this all Surah by sitting in the pak direction of Mecca. Point number five, keep the book of Holy Quran and Zamzam water with you while performing Surah. Point number six, recite niya after performing surah wama tawfiqi illa billah for more details you can visit our links jazakumullah khair for watching this video assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi